Welcome back to the interactive adventures of Dog Mendoza and Pizza Boy. So we've inter interrogated the Invisible Man. And it's time to perform the ritual, but I think I'm going to need that spell book from the pawn shop. I mean, one way to... Because when I read through it, it said I couldn't memorize the the um, Pazool, words I needed towards our next destination. for the spell. Pazool, let me know. Anyway. Yes, you're right. Yeah. I still have things to do here in Chinatown. Right. So I need to get that book. Now, when I try to take it, I need to distract him and maybe toss it out the window. I think that's the way to do it. But I gotta figure out how to distract uh, Mr. Gremlin over here. And I have... These items are all for the ritual. The matches... I mean, I guess they're for the ritual too, but I need to figure out a way to distract him. What you want? Never mind. If I take the spell book, it'll come in handy. I should take a glance now, write down what I need, and maybe buy it later. Ha! <laughs> I said buy it. With my salary. Good one, Eureka. Good one. Right, and if I try to put it through the window now. I can't do that in the open. I should conceal myself at least. Conceal himself, huh? Oh, can I get that mask? Maybe I can use that mask. Have a nice day. Thanks. Bye for now. There's that mask in the alleyway, but I couldn't take it before. Maybe it'll let me grab it now. I doubt it, but it's worth a try. I have no use for that. She said she needed to disguise herself. There's a mask, so... You know. I wonder how monsters feel about our disguises. Um, I mean, what's the alternative? I don't have anything to disguise myself with here. Go back inside the hideout. Nah, I've already yeah. interrogated the man. I don't think there's anything in there for me to use anyway. Um, so I need a disguise. Hey! Who opened the trunk of the car? I think we traveled all No. Nope. It's my word again. It's still the same conversation as before. Maybe Miss Chen knows. Is there anything else down here? Oh. I can't go in there, huh? Oh, let's speak to Miss Chen again. This Chen even has a some partitions for changing. Miss Chen, ask what you must ask. Do you realize your rhymes seem forced? Well, I think you should be effed by a horse. And the metric? <laughs> it's all over the place. Thanks for the feedback. Now get out of my face. Miss Chen, ask what you must ask. And I'll help you with your time. Hmm. I, mean, I already have most of the ingredients. I, I have all the ingredients. I just need the spell book. I know where it is. I'll be on my way. Ta-ta, Eureka. Hmm. I need a disguise. I 
wish I could just reach through the window and grab the book. But I'm not letting. What did I get a disguise? <laughs> this guy's still <laughs> blinded from the uh, pepper I blew into his eyes. Any goods in this stall? What? Who said that? I can't see a thing. This will be easier than stealing candy from a tied up gag baby. Yeah, there's a nice image. I have no use for that. Thanks. Your noodles are crap! Well, your chalk statue would have cracked in the earthquake of 1750. Okay. I think someone is calling. Hmm. Huh. Right, what am I missing here? Probably nothing else to do here. And there are like fans and knickknacks here, but. All the classic kitchen ugly trinkets of a street stall. Nothing it seems that I could use for a disguise. It won't let me take anything from this stall anyway. Oh, this gives clues. I need a chain long enough to tie it to the book and then throw the chain out the window to grab the book on the other side. Oh, okay. I mean, I have uh, I have the necklace. Can I use that? I probably use that. It's probably not long enough, though. I have no use for that. Alright, where can I get a chain? Or a rope or something like that. I can't even imagine the possibilities of what to do with this chain. Have a nice day. Thanks. I wish I had a coin to I wish I had a coin to make I don't see a chain anywhere around here. I suppose there's a chain in my car. Doesn't seem like it. I suppose Miss Chen's got a chain. Of chain. Let's see. Doesn't look like there's anything for me to use in here. Hmm. 
Miss Chen? Ask what you must... Where can I find the ingredient? You'll have to be specific if you... I have all these things. Where can I get black? Like the haiku says, colors in the sky, night's blooming fire. It's snowing on Mount Fuji. That doesn't rhyme. Haikus don't rhyme, Yuriko. That's a good point. I'll be on my way. Ta-ta, Yuriko. <sighs> chain, 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 chain. Oh, this. Ah, there we go. Take the chain? But then how will people know where to wait in line? And if people don't know how to wait, how are they expected to know how to act? Chaos would reign. Fathers will kill their children and <laughs> feast on their entrails. It would be horror. Aren't you overacting a little? I'm taking it anyway. <laughs> that's, I mean, that's, that's pretty dramatic. Well, at least I know not what to do if I want a clue. I really don't want clues, but well, that did help. I can't do that in the open. I should conceal myself at least. <sighs> Seriously? I don't want to put that into my jacket. So I still need to conceal myself. But it won't let me take that damn dragon mask. Have a nice day. Thanks. Bye for now, I guess. Maybe now it'll let me take the dragon mask? Come on. I mean, I don't know how else I'm gonna conceal myself. That dragon mask seems the obviously what I need. Let me, let, let me take the damn mask. I have no use for that. Oh, come on. Can I fish it out with the chain or something? I don't think that needs to be chained. <sighs> Yuck. Imagine. How else am I going to disguise myself? Maybe the mask is too obvious. Disguise, disguise, disguise. Can I use black powder on myself or something? I have no use for that. Can't use stuff on myself, I see. Can I take the gargoyle head? Hey, who opened the trunk of the car? Right, let's just I stop. think we traveled. Oh, it's my work. <sighs> Can I have some fireworks? Sure. You can get as many as you want. I don't have money. Then piss off. I don't really need more fireworks from the guy. I already have the gunpowder from him. Or the, the, yeah. Something to disguise myself. Oh, okay. You know what? Maybe I'm I'm looking at this the wrong way. Let me take the book. Let me combine the items while they're in my inventory. It'll come in handy. I should take. Ha! <laughs> I said. Bye. 
Well, it's not like the book is running away or something. I should find another use. There. Aha! So I don't really need a disguise, I just needed to apply the chain while I had the book in my inventory, not while it was on this shelf. do go back when you have some money. Which makes Thanks. sense, I guess. Bye for now, I guess. And there's the chain. Yoink! Got it! Hazul! On towards our next destination! That's the spirit! Back to Motel Romero! We have a ghost to interrogate! I can't believe I'm doing this. According to the book, I first need to draw a circle. Now, light the candle. Uh, this is my last match, so I better make a count. It smells like bacon. I guess the grease overpowers the cinnamon. Well, it should be comfortable enough. Hey, Pazul! This is important. If you see the candle waning, wake me up. If you don't wake me up in time, I might be trapped with the ghosts forever. Now, read out loud. Klaatu, Barada, Nictu! Oh boy. <laughs> and now, gunpowder! should have guessed that this wouldn't work from the get-go. You two. You, uh, you wait here while I figure out what to do. I'll be back in a minute. Just wait here, okay? What the? Sub. As in, what's up, Chief? <laughs> Welcome to the land of the dead. Or to Limbo. Whatever you want to call it. Look, I'm not dead. Mm, the first stage. <laughs> Before we can help you with your condition, you have to accept that you have a condition. No, see? I performed a ritual to cross to the other side. Oh boy, we have a cultist here. All right, you came to an existential hiccup. We can help. <laughs> yeah, but... By the way, who are you? We are the Global Underground Association for Spectral Control of Anger. Or Guasca for short. Guasca, huh? That can't be right. We can help you deal with everyday problems. Like trying to interact with the physical world. Tutorials on how to achieve and or avoid going Paul Poltergeist on a room. Ectoplasm. That awkward little talk that your parents never gave you. <laughs> You'll notice that things work a little bit differently on this side of life. Or lack thereof. So, you had my curiosity. Now you have my attention. How exactly is this different? Well, you can barely interact with the physical plane now. Sure, you might open some doors if the wind is on your side. But in order to really interact with something, you must possess it. And possessing requires a lot of anger and practice. And that's what we do here. Learn to project our anger in order to be able to interact with the physical plane. Here, take this complimentary hammer and start working on holding that in your hand. You can sit with us and practice. In a hundred years, you might be angry enough to hold two objects. But beware. Too much anger is also dangerous. Yes, if you don't control your emotions, you might go full poltergeist on something and be trapped. That's a lot to take in. Don't worry, you can ask me anything. We dead people gotta stick together. Thanks. So I have a hammer. I could use this hammer to fix stuff. 
and be the best ghost ever. To think that this is the man I'm looking for. So close, yet so far. I have no use for that. Yuck. Imagine... Can I smash the dead body with I don't want to hammer that down. Why did dead aristocrats always look the most refined? The chief of the anger management support groups looks an awful lot like a chief. Something completely alien to Lisbon, but let's just not ask him any questions. He looks like a stereotype lifted out of the 20s. That's a nice vest, though. Mind if we trade? Show me what you got. Trade you this hammer? Mind if we trade? Nah, whatever. What, what did I get for in return? I got a remote. Okay. Is this gonna be some trading game where I trade with all these guys? Mind if we trade? Nah, whatever. I give him the remote. What's he give me now? Got the hammer back. No, I want the remote. Mind if we trade? No. Can, can I trade with the sophisticated lady or the the chief? Mind if we trade? Certainly not. Now, what do I get now? Got bubble gum. Uh, I think bubble gum's gonna help me. All right. What about if I give him the bubble gum? I have no use for that. No. What if I give the bubble gum to the gangster? Mind if we trade? Nah, whatever. Now, what do I get now? The hammer. So he always gives me back the hammer if I give him something other than the hammer. Is she gonna get what does she give me back if I give her something other than the bubble gum? Mind if we trade? Certainly not. Is she always gonna give me bubble gum. It's a remote. Okay, I got the remote back. I can give her the remote and get the bubble gum. I would imagine. And I don't think I can use the remote on the dead body. Oh! I have no use for but that. But I could, I could use the remote on the television. What the? Damn. It seems the battery is dead. What will I do now? <clears throat> oh, hi. You must be the owner of this pathetic body. Yes. What the hell are you doing with it? I'm sorry, but it's mine now. Let me introduce myself. I'm Daniel the Dibbick. As soon as I fix this car, I'm taking this body for a spin. You should leave it where you found it. <laughs> what are you gonna do about it? You're nothing now. Not even a real ghost. You should have worn a silver chain when you performed your little ritual. Uh -huh. I was wearing one. Nah, that was a... <laughs> That gremlin son of a troll. Now, if you'll excuse me, I've got more pressing matters to attend to. I need to fix this car and get my shiny new ass out of here. <laughs> I smash the hood down and knock him out. Ouch! Hey, stop that! Okay, pal. This is what I'm gonna do. I'm going inside to get the spare parts I need. I'm so eager to meet your girlfriend. 
It's been so long since last time I had a body. <laughs> By the way, awesome jacket. I can fit anything inside of it. <sighs> it is a pretty sweet jacket. That bastard! I have no use for that. Let's go inside. I have the remote. I can turn the TV on. Maybe I can use the TV to distract them. What the? Oh, the ghost of Mike That's Tyson. everything I think about your mother. Mike yes. Tyson's punch out, Mike Come Tyson. Come say that to my face. Your face? <laughs> You're a ghost. That's like what? A spectral, glorified, sentient fart of the universe? You have no face. When I get you, I'll teach you a man or two. Oh, I might die any time now. So, if you see a face like mine again, be sure to teach your lesson. <laughs> In the meantime, enjoy some TV. I moved the antenna for you. Don't worry. It won't make you more stupid than you already are. <laughs> <laughs> Mike Tyson's punch out, Mike oh, Tyson. I'll set him straight. Oh, there you are. Care to trash talk my mama now? What are you talking about? <laughs> I will teach you a lesson. Nobody says these things you said about my mama. I think you must be confusing me with someone else. Don't play dumb with me. Be a man. Oh, I gotta play Mike Tyson's punch out, huh? He even looks like a little Mac. You can pack some punch. Thanks. Hold on, let me let me uh use the remote on the TV. Give him something nice to work to uh watch. How dare you, mortal? Who said that? Your utter foolishness is the harbinger of your doom. Don't you know who you dare distress? What? Not you again. You stand before he who has breath of brimstone. He who won't give you his hand, nor play dead. Oh, and now you talk. Great. Consider yourself lucky. Your sentence is postponed for now. I must bring silence to the wailing of that wench with a howling of my own. Alright, if I go to a different channel. The bell. I can hear. Oh, I got it. I got it. I know what I'm supposed to do. Now I put him in the ring. Okay. 
okay, I know what I got to do. I got to turn the TV on, sing it to that singing lady, so he teleports in and then change it to the ring. And then uh, Mike Tyson's punch out, Mike Tyson's going to knock him out. Can I increase the volume? The bell. I can hear its calling. At last, warrior. We meet in a field of champions. Prepare to have your soul shattered, buried, and pooped upon as just another trophy in my collection. Oh, hell no. You bad dog. I'm gonna pummel some new tricks into you. Well, I guess I'll be in there for a while. I can go up now. Ah, yes. Very, very, very nice. I never did go into room 420. It's locked. I wish I was one of those ghosts that could phase through walls. But I guess that's just in the movies. Damn it, somebody's probably hitting a bomb in there. Oh yeah, it's still locked from the last time I came here. I wish I was one of those ghosts that could phase through walls. But I guess that's just in the movies. He's pleasantly and maniacally chewing on a wood plank. It's got a wrench in there that I would probably like. Uh, no, just no. I, I know I have to grab that wrench. I just can't put my mind to it. Really? Come on, man. That was even more disgusting than I was expecting. Did, did I get the wrench? No. Can I talk to him? <clears throat> Could I have that plank you were chewing? No? That's okay. I can't argue with this behemoth. I gotta, I got it. I gotta go back and I gotta get the bubble gum. I don't need the remote anymore because that dog and Mike Tyson's punch out Mike Tyson are busy inside the television beating the crap out of each other. I wish I could watch it, but can, can I watch it? And now I'm looking at the TV. No. All right. I mean, personally, I'd like to see Mike Tyson and the demon dog duking it out, but okay, whatever. Now I gotta trade that remote in and get the bubble gum. And I'm gonna trade him the bubble gum for the wooden plank. I don't know where I go from there, but it's progress. Mind if we trade? Certainly not. Now I have the hammer. No, I don't need the hammer. I need the... Um... Mind if we trade? Certainly not. Now I get the remote. I don't need the remote. Mind I want if the we bubble trade? Gun. Certainly not. I get the bubble gum before. All right, so first I think I got to get the hammer to this guy. But then he's just going to give me the remote. Trade? Nah, whatever. How did I get the bubble gum before? So now I should have the remote. Oh no, now I have the bubble. Oh, because he had the bubble gum now. Got it. Okay. So it stays with whoever has it. Cool. I have the bubble gum. That's that's all that matters. So she has the remote. Now. He has the hammer. Now I imagine I trade this ghost dude with the wooden plank in his mouth, the, the bubble gum for that plank. I'm not sure what I'm going to do with that plank, but it's progress. Do 
you want some of this? Whoa! Thanks, dude. Okay, so now I have this wooden plank. It's really long and heavy. Not exactly sure how I'm going to use it just yet. Maybe I can use it to knock my real body out. Go back down to the basement. There he is. I have no use for that. I have no use for that. Can I talk to Azul? No. Can I talk to him? You don't know who you're messing with. Oh, but I do. A talking, miserable pile of nothing. <laughs> And if you keep pestering me, I'm going to find out everything about you, your girlfriend, and everyone you ever loved, and turn them into the stuff of nightmares, and leave them a hollow shell. <laughs> you son of a... Yuck. Imagine lick... It's in the physical plane. I... Okay. I'm gonna need to use that plank for something. Maybe if I trade them the plank, but then I just get the hammer. I could have had the hammer anyway. The plank obviously has a use. I just don't know what it is yet. Alright, we'll leave off here and we'll try to figure out what the plank does and, uh... How to get her body back and talk to the dead guy and all that other stuff next time.